Okay, so let's talk about uh, number 38 here in chapter 1. So, by popular demand, number 38 has been requested. So, in this problem, you're supposed to work within the metric system. You're supposed to give the name and the symbol for the prefix for the number given. These were the numbers as provided in the problem, and I've translated either from, you know, powers of 10 to decimal or back again. So, you can see both. All right, so this one would be just to help you see, so you know, whatever you're most comfortable working with. Uh, I missed the first one there. So if we have 10 to the 3, that's 1,000. So if we have 1,000 of something, like if we had 1,000 meters, well, that would be a kilometer. So kilo would be the prefix, and then the letter for it would just be K. Our symbol is K. So, you know, uh, for example, you know, kilometers kilometers, kilometers. Alright. Uh, if it's 10 to the minus 2, it's 0 0.01. So now we would need, this is like 1 one hundredth, okay? So we would need 100 of this to equal the base unit. So if we're sticking with meters, well, what's 1 one hundredth of a meter? Why, it's a centimeter. Alright? And so that would be centa, and that's just a lowercase c. That's a lowercase k as well, by the way. Uh, and so, for example, you know, a centimeter. That would be one one-hundredth of a meter. So a meter is a little over three feet. And then you know, one one-hundredth of that is a centimeter. All right, so next, 10 to the minus one, or one-tenth. So this is, again, we need 10 of this to get our normal base unit. So this would be one-tenth of a meter. So 10 of these would equal a meter. And so this would be deci. And this is a lowercase d. And so, you know, again, sticking with the meters, you know, this could be a decimeter. And usually, I think the most common place you'll ever see it is deciliters. So, I don't, I don't think it really comes up much like decimeters, you know, like, they'll just say, like, it's 25 centimeters. They don't go, like, 2.5 decimeters. But for whatever reason, with liters, the unit of volume, uh, it gets used somewhat often. I don't, I'm not well-traveled. I don't know why, but... That's, that's where I most commonly see it. Alright, so now we have 10 to the minus 3, or 0 0.001. So this is 1,000th. Alright, so this is, again, you know, if the 10 is a negative power, it's a small number. It's less than 1. And if 10 is a positive number, it is greater than 1. So this is like 1,000. This is 1 1,000th. Alright, you can see the relationship, right? So we're going left from the decimal, we're going right from the decimal. So... If we need 1,000 of something to equal our base unit, well, that's a milla. And that's just a lowercase m. And our example here, again, sticking with meters as our base unit, would be a millimeter. All right? So a centimeter is 1 one-hundredth of a meter. A millimeter is 1 one-thousandth of a meter. So there's 10 millimeters in every centimeter. You might notice that. All right, now we're getting to the big powers of 10 here. You know, 10 to the 6, and then... The, I guess, large negative value, 10 to the negative 6. Uh, but, alright, so 10 to the 6, what is that? Well, if you think about computers, you got kilobyte, well, what's next? Well, it's it's megabyte. Maybe that helps. Uh, you know, you probably haven't, like, traveled megameters. <laughs> but that's that's where I start log, you know, kind of clicking into this. So it goes mega, and then tera, and then or no, giga, then tera, and then petabyte, all right? So it just keeps going up and up and up. And then I think exabyte is the one after that. You don't see that one much yet, but you never know in a couple of years. All right, so one million of our base units, all right? So one of these equals one million of our base units. So if I stack together one million meters, what I get is a megameter, all right? So our, our symbol, or our name, excuse me, is mega for the prefix, and then this one is a capital M, all right, so that's why the, the case matters, that's why I was specifying for it, like lowercase, 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 because sometimes, I mean, that's a big, big difference, all right, you want to be off by a factor of a billion, uh, mess up your ca uh, capitalization there, all right, and so, you know, if I have a megameter, it looks like that, big M, and then little m is the designation in unit, so it's always prefix unit. Alright, so don't do little m, big m, that would be, I don't even know what, milli, 
molarity, I guess. Millimolar, which, hey, that's a thing we'll talk about later. So, how about that? So you gotta watch the order and the capitalization, like, when we start putting things in the symbols, yeah, eh, you gotta be a little bit careful. And we're conveying a lot of information with very little characters, so you gotta be very careful about that. And so, you know, these are case sensitive. All right, and so if it's one millionth, what do we got? Well, this is micro, all right? So one million micrometers would give us one meter. So this is one millionth of a meter. <coughs> and now you're going to go, well, wait a minute. Lowercase m is taken. Capital M is taken. What is left for micro? Well, we'll just dip into the Greek alphabet. Or, you know, maybe, maybe it looks more familiar. I don't think it's as fun to draw it this way. But like that. I prefer the little curve into it, but sometimes you see it straight down. This is mu. This is a Greek letter. And so if you have a micrometer, you just go mu m. Micrometer. Alright. Is it an uppercase, a lowercase mu? I don't know. Listen, I, I'm not an expert in all the alphabets. Don't tell my grandma I don't know the Greek alphabet that well. Because um, she's Greek. So, uh, we'll keep that between us. So that's it. That's the symbols uh, that were presented here in the names. There are others. You know, it keeps going up and down. You've got, you know, nana, or nano, excuse me. <laughs> nano, you know, like a nanometer. That'd be one billionth of a meter. And that's that's important because that's kind of the scale of, of atoms. They're, you know, that's when you start getting into an atomic scale. But that wasn't asked about here. So uh, there's no, you know, E, F, and then G. There's no G, for example. Alright, so hopefully this is helping the metric system make a little bit more sense, help, help you be more familiar with the prefixes and how to relate them back to numbers or vice versa. And then, uh, yeah, that's kind of the goal with this question.